Hi, in this video, we're going to continue to build the home page. Specifically, we're going to work on the stacked bar chart visualization. Okay, so let's begin. Again, I'm in my Power BI cloud application, Power BI service application, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click logged in. I'm going to click on my project here. And as you can see, it opens up into the preview mode. Um, I have my one visualization I just created, the pie chart. Let's add in the stacked bar chart visualization. Here we go. I'm going to click on edit. And again, let's refer back to our business requirements document for a moment. As you can see, this is a potential solution here for the visualization. And on the next page, we have some requirements for the visualization. So you can kind of, you know, go by either one of these in the business requirements document. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click again back to my document. I'm going to go over to my visualizations icons and I'm going to click on the stacked bar, car, bar chart icon. Let's drag and drop. Let's put it right about here. Okay, so we need a couple things. Um, so we need the y-axis and the x-axis. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have the x-axis be the show title. And then the y-axis will be our hours, weekly hours viewed. Okay. Simple enough, all right? So now we have each show and we have a bar chart representing the volume of hours viewed, okay? Pretty simple, but let's, again, let's make it look more professional than this, okay? Oh man, where do we begin? Let's go here and we'll go to the format, your visual area, and let's do a few things. Y axis, let's see here, values again, we'll do this, our usual font, trebuchet, and we'll color it, um, we'll use, blue as a color okay um, and then we will go to our oh, here, we, here we go our x axis here we go and we'll keep the range um, minimax auto values we'll show the values here we can show them in um, display units we'll do billions we'll do two decimal places here and we'll go and we'll do uh, same font here. And why don't we do this? Why don't we, before we go any further um, with the values, we will, again, make this the same color blue that we did in the um, y-axis as well. And then we'll click on title. The title is for the X axis, we'll say here, we'll say um, weekly hours viewed. Perfect. Again, same thing, we'll change the font and color. Same font, color blue. And then, you know what we forgot to do? We'll go back to the y-axis and change the title there, too, to say, uh, we'll call this show title. Same plume. To give it a little bit more professional look and feel. Okay, so there's our x and y axis labels theoretically okay so that's all set okay so now let's do do some more changes we can turn the data labels on i mean it's a bar and you know kind of hard to read but we'll do this we'll turn the data labels on now we can actually again see what we can kind of where we can position them and change the look and feel of those labels so we can get a little bit more specific we'll position those i want to position them in the inside end okay so it puts it right at the end of each bar um, and then we'll do values. Again, I will have the color be white and I will change it to the regular font we've been using. And again, same thing, we'll display the mil millions and we'll do two decimal places, okay? Good, now, a couple more things we're gonna change here. So we got our data labels, we got our X, Y axis all set. Now, let's do this. Let's change the colors of the bars. And what I mean by that is, is that, um, we can 
change the specific bar colors because what we could do is we could change it to a um, to reflect the specific show genre. Okay. So here's how we're going to change the colors of the bars to reflect the show genre. Okay, so let's do this. Notice when again, when I click on bars and colors, it defaults to blue. If I click on show all, it, it it's kind of shows all the shows we have, all 1,189 unique show, uh, 39 unique shows. We don't want to do that. So let's turn that off. Let's do this. Let's go back to building for a moment, okay? And if you see here's a let so we have our y axis or x axis, we have legend. So let's go ahead and we're gonna select category. We're gonna drag and drop in this legends box, okay? Now what it's doing is it's saying, hey, this specific show is this specific genre. And based upon that, it's gonna add a color to that bar based upon the show's genre, okay, or category. All right. So now let's now go back to formatting our visual. Now let's see, look, now if I click on bars, I have my four genres, like we did in the pie chart. So again, I can go back to my um, films, English. Let's see what color we use. Let's go back here. We'll use this color here. Films, non-English. Click here, let's go back to our reference guide. Again, you can use any color you like for your application. And then we'll do TV English. And finally, we do TV non-English. And I'll show you what happens when we do that. TV non-English. Perfect. Okay, now look what happened. Look what happened. It, it's showing our shows here. Notice the colors here. They changed, of course, but also they, they, they're the same colors we use for the pie chart. So, again, it gives it a more professional look and feel. When we start filtering out our visualizations, you get more of a, a visual look of what the categories and shows are, okay? Kind of neat, all right? Um, let's do a couple more things to this visualization. Let's go to general, title, and we'll say here, we'll give this a title of, let's see what our business requirements document says here. Give it a title of weekly hours viewed by show. So we'll do weekly hours viewed by show TV film. Again, we'll do our font makeover. And we'll do the, the blue. Make it bold. Okay, cool. We got it. So again, we got now we have a professional looking title. Now let's do one last thing. Let's give this a shot. All right, here. Let's let's again we'll select this visualization, but notice here. Well, let's do this. Let's first save it. And I'm gonna click on home and I'm gonna go view to visualization and preview mode. Notice here I, I scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Oh my gosh, it just keeps on going and going again. Because like we said, we have over a thousand shows in our data. Okay, so let's add it. And what if, what if I just want to show the top 25? Now, I don't have any filters in my slicers that is showing to slice that by like, oh, the top 25. So let's add a specific filter to this specific visualization. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna click on I'm gonna click on the visualization. I'm gonna click on filters here now, and it says filter on this visual. We're gonna do on show title, and I'm gonna click on the show title and it says filter type, basic filtering. No, we want to do top n. And we're gonna fill in this n by 25. So now it's only gonna show us our top 25. I can even do we'll we'll, we'll even give it a try. We'll just do three. And it will do a three, for example. Okay, so we'll do chop 25.
So we're going to do again top 25 of the show type. Well, look what it's doing. I can't apply the filter. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on my data here and I'm going to do weekly hours view. So it's saying, hey, I'm going to only show the top 25 shows based upon the weekly hours view. So I'm going to click apply filter. Now I'm going to, again, I'm going to save it. And now when I scroll, oh, it shows me top 25, okay? So I can even go back, let's say, yeah, that's a little too much. Let's do top 10, apply filter. So now you can see I only have the top 10. And I could do some more formatting and whatnot to the visualization to make it look a little, a little more um uh, you know, a professional and whatnot, but that's the basics of doing your stack bar chart and making it look more professional, assigning color, legend colors to a, using a specific variable such as the category show genre, as well as adding a specific filter to the visualization, okay? And that concludes this video.